This is a video to show you how to repair a sticky 400k floppy drive from a uh, an old Macintosh. Um, so I'm going to assume that you can get this far. There's take apart instructions available on the web if you can't, but uh, you take the the floppy drive out of its housing after you get the housing out of the computer itself. And uh, I have this head cleaning diskette in here because I don't care about it. Uh, it doesn't you know has no data. Um, so I'm just using that to flex the mechanisms, and uh, you can see kind of around these moving parts, the uh, grease that was put in there in 1984 uh, has seized up and kind of turned into glue. So what I do with these is I take this uh, Teflon lubricant stuff that has a little needle for uh, precision application. You can get this at Radio Shack. Um, and I lube all of the moving parts that I can basically get to that have to do with the uh, eject and uh, disc seating mechanism. And then you use the manual eject, which normally you uh, get at with the paperclip trick. But now that it's out of the housing, you can just use your finger for that. And the, uh, the critical piece here is, is, is this little arm, um, which needs to fall down into this position for the disc to actually eject. And similarly, when you just stick the disc in, it has to go up like that for the disc to be seated. And really, it should go up all the way like that. But that's where the sticky part is, and that's the worst part of it. So you just iterate between adding more lubricant and manually helping it eject the disc until it starts to loosen up enough to be able to do it on its own. And you probably have to do it again in another 20 years. There it goes. The end.